the book of hedge Druidry, a, a complete guide for the solitary seeker by joanna van der holven hopefully i did the last name pretty closely <laughs> so it is a llewellyn publication i i don't know um to me it is very informative and really in depth um part you get four parts you get part one theory part two practice part three study part four skills and techniques so you get um like history you get some information about deities so you get like the name and some keywords name keywords of it so um at this place you do uh like that part of um the, the book i think for the entire book you don't get like a full-on page or chapter about the deities or a specific deity it's just um quick reference of like keywords um you get information about the three realms land sea and sky um the wheel of the year so what a lot of people know as the pagan um sabbaths um the wheel of the year um <laughs> um the eight sabbaths um the celebrations there um so you get some information intro to the sabbaths um like as a reference point so to me um if you want like a specific um book or chapter of like a book to have a look on of the specific um sabbaths um like for books that i've reviewed i like i would recommend the llewellyn's sabbath essentials series um i've done a review of each book um i've only kept four of them because only four of them have have um some sort of meaning to me but um i guess that could be a whole a different discussion <laughs> um but yeah um i'll try and remember to link the playlist of those books below if you do have an interest um so the it goes through like the cycle of the moon seasonal rituals herb lore to me it's like along with being very informed in, in depth i was really fascinated by the topics um put out into this book so you got like um altar ritual ritual space and tools um moon rites rites of patch passage um in part four you got like ethics peace um and two other chapters in there so a total of 27 chapters under these four parts um to me it it can be a really good um resource as like a main book a main go-to book but also as a jump off point because you do get an introduction to a lot of information in this book um but it does give you enough information as like a main type of book um it is um information based there is a little bit of information um, personal info that isn't like overbearing it's just nicely placed like for me a lot some people may love like the personal story type of thing but to me i'm like either not at all or very little or, or like nicely placed type of thing so you um in the introduction um joanna writes druidy is a deeply fulfilling earth-based 
um, spirituality. Western and spiritual traditions offer different from, say, say Eastern traditions, in that they can be more solo, um, can be a more solo affair. Our mythology is filled with tales of a hero or heroine on a quest, and it is that quest which seems to be a recurring theme. There are challenges and people to help along the way, but on the whole, the quiet uh, must be fulfilled by the seeker and the seeker alone. And like what drew to me, um, drew me to this book was solo and solitary seeker, because I don't think I could do like how where I am at with my like spirituality wouldn't be good in a group. So I kind of like that it's a solo book because <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes you would see like for groups, covens or whatever where or like the information or rituals in the book um, would be for like a group or a coven and um, it may not have a solo type of um, alternative written in, in there. <laughs> so, so part one, here's we, where we explore the theory behind Druidry. We will look at who the Druids were and who they are today. So you got some, okay, so, come on, focus for me. Um, you can't really tell, but it's divided into a few different um, sections. Irish deities, Welsh deities, Ghoulish and Bithonic deities. Um, and so, you get some information about the... Um, moons and sabbaths um you get some seasonal rituals which is pretty interesting um like ethics like working with anger hurt and wounding treat others as you would like to be treated um such a simple phrase yet so hard to comply when we've when we've been hurt or wounded in any way um so it goes into like that um so to me i think like i'll actually get like a physical copy of this and really um delve more into this because i really enjoyed the first reading of it so i think i might actually physically get it and really work with it hopefully um but yeah I was really pleasantly um, pleased <laughs> um, with this book. So, um, yeah, if this kind of um, topic has any interest to you, this could be a book to look into. So, the book of Hedge Drudry. Happy readings.